Hello, my lovely anatomists and physiologists. Welcome back to another chapter 13 video, wrapping up our discussion here of the brain, looking at what are called brain waves. Now, brain waves are assessed through a procedure which is abbreviated as an EEG. EEG stands for electroencephalogram or graph actually. And this is measuring the electrical activity. Of the brain. And this can be useful in terms of understanding how the brain is working and also it's important in diagnostics as well. So we have four types of brain waves that we need to be familiar with. We can talk about an alpha wave as being present in a healthy adult when the individual is resting with eyes closed. So not asleep, but just like in a quiet, resting, maybe meditative state. So absent during sleep, Or, or when concentrating, now when we switch from this kind of resting, um, quiet state, our brain waves will switch to more of a beta wave. And the beta wave um, is going to show up when we're focused on a task. So now we're concentrating. We also see this under stress. And we see this also when we're experiencing psychological tension. So both alpha and beta waves are part of the healthy awake brainwave pattern. When we look at our theta waves, we see this mostly in children or frustrated adults. And I always think like, oh, when we're frustrated adults, we're living in like our child brain, right? We're, we're kind of reacting to the world, to the situation in a childish way, right? Now, if you're seeing this on a brainwave pattern, an adult who's maybe not frustrated, this can indicate a tumor, a brain tumor. When we look at the delta wave pattern, we see this in deep sleep. We see this in developing infant brains. So here I'm kind of using the letter D to help myself remember um, this particular one. If we see delta waves in an awake adult, it's an indicator of a problem. So we might see that they have a tumor. So we might see that again. We might see a blood vascular um, blockage. We might see this um, showing up as inflammation in the brain. Um, and then we can see this as an indicator of brain damage that has occurred. Okay. All right. So make sure you're familiar with these four brain waves. This will be a question on the Anatomy 1 departmental final. All right, stay tuned for our discussion on the spinal cord and as always take care of yourselves and each other.